headmistress. I found Artemis out there. I'd not expected her so soon, but then, she's quick. Speaking of which, what of Hermes? Any word? Alas, not yet. However, those two are resourceful and discreet. And Olympus remains none the wiser to our long-standing connection with them, if that is your concern. My concern is their safety. May Hermes soon discover what exactly Kronos is scheming and return. Though I know we can ill afford to wait. No, we cannot. Hermes convinced me of that. <laughs> One, please. <laughs> Farewell. Something to report. How's life have laid down at the bottom of the sea? All sorts of nastiness lurking there, that the reports make clear. I wager you've seen some things. You'd win that wager handily. The worst of them has to be the sea monstrous called Skilla and a siren friends. They have this ridiculous act. What, Skilla's still around? The sirens, no less? <laughs> It's a wonder you made it back. Oh, please tell me you didn't listen to a word they sang. Oh, I heard an earful. Oh. Full bloom. The Arcana. I lack the grasp for this. Ready. My keepsakes. Behold that heirloom storage case over there. The purse. The arms of night are now at my disposal. Or shall be soon enough. The crescent pick. Reveal to me the bounties of the earth. It shall serve you well. of the gods must have his hands full recently. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Ah, young lady, so we meet at last. Emerge from all that gloom to help us settle an old score. If you possess your father's strength, then we have the advantage. Let us strike. Killing strength. There's some raw silver I can use. Not even those with the power to enter the crossroads at will can entirely anticipate which of its three hidden paths shall be their exit. I'd not expected this one.
It's a death cap. Aphrodite. This family's not so good at letting go, is it? After eons of prosperity, all that we've built together threatens to come crashing down, all because of a little bad blood. Hm. That's a feeling there. Gloom, a shadow spiller. Turn to shadow now. <sighs> that shadow spill is tough. Hey. Ever think maybe we're just not cut out for this now? Me with the haunting, you with the... What are you trying to do again? Find the Titan of Time. Punish him for his crimes against my family. Restore the rightful ruler of the underworld. Hey, you're cut out for haunting, Dora. Oh, thanks. Just like I'm sure you're cut out for all that other stuff. <gasps> ah, you're here. As we improve ourselves, so does our craft. Let's begin. Oh, daughters of night, who can see all tomorrows, please help me avenge both our family's sorrows. No effect. Nothing. They didn't listen. Within the boons of Mount Olympus, I would see their elemental essences, my victory. Is done. So mote it be. Oskion Katoski. Interesting. 
interesting. So mote it be. Much is expected of you. The pressure that you feel, you never speak of it, and yet full well I know it's there. Your constant companion. I can hardly distinguish between pressure and faith anymore. My entire life has led to this, and all of you are counting on me. Are you truly so certain in my inevitable success, Headmistress? Pressure and faith are intertwined, tis true. Never in conflict. Should the pressure utterly prevail, out comes despair. Only then do we truly falter. You didn't answer my question. The combined might of the gods was not enough to stop Kronos before. And you know the fates are unpredictable. My success is not a certainty. My faith is not in outcomes, tis in you. And I've enough of it to last. Should you find yours lacking, I shall always spare you some of mine. Thank you for believing in me. No need. Just checking up on you. Here you are. Take care then. Strength and wisdom of my predecessors. There's something new here. Join with me. Lim and Oros, sister blades. We're fellow sisters now. A fitting armament. She's here, now watch and learn. Uh, over here. from her path. Great Titaness, the Eye of Night, I draw you down. Lend me your might. Good evening to you, little star. Our cycles now are intertwined, as I no longer can afford merely to watch. Whichever threat we face, I vow to shine for you. The choice is yours. Together we shine. Together we shine. You fought beautifully. Lord Uncle. The fates themselves knew Kronos could be overthrown by his own kin. We've done it before, and we're going to do it again. Your assistance in the matter is appreciated. Through divination of the elements, I see it now. to your graves.
Assaults on Olympus always fail, even if they've kept us occupied. What's his next move? I can make an exchange. Sure. A root stalker. <laughs> We spoke with your grim father, Lise. He never was the most sociable sort. When we stopped hearing from him, we figured he was simply in one of his moods, not in the clutches of Kronos. Surging on. Intricately woven spider silk, ensconcing the environs of one gloom-filled recess within Erebus, rivals in quality even the weavings of the gods themselves. Arachne knows her stuff. Arachne, the outfit you wove for me was so beautiful. I'm sorry to say I got into a bit of a scrape or two, and I'm afraid it didn't survive. Oh, that's quite all right, silly. It wasn't made to last. What is? It was made to be in the moment with you. Now here, I've plenty more. Like a warm embrace. I'll be right here, all right? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
for you. Feels even sturdier. I can beat her. Prompt as ever. A flash of silver, limb and auros. So the sister blades availed themselves, do you? The other nocturnal arms shall follow their lead, I expect. Nyx entrusted them to you to safeguard the realm as a last resort. But this cannot possibly be how they were meant to be used. And why ever not? To safeguard the realm, you shall have to clear a wide variety of obstacles standing in your way. I am but one. <laughs> Cross blades! <laughs> of the dead. Huh? <laughs> 
have survived against me. And for that, you owed a gift. May you learn well through it, Melinoi. The Book of Shadows. Victory. He's back. Ah, there you are. You have returned. Or lost your way, perhaps, in those interminable passageways beyond. I know where I'm going. Whom do I address? And what are you doing here yourself in such a place? My name and business are not your concern. Is that not what you said? Ah, the impertinence of the youth of this age. Wait. Silver. Ugh, that's cold. Within the sopping, blackest pits of Oceanus reside horrors that the greatest mortal or immortal poets could not possibly describe. Don't sell yourself short, Homer. you look at that? Another would-be suitor journeyed far and wide just to gaze upon me, not that I blame you, and get totally rejected. Fine. Ogle if you must. You have the wrong idea. I'm not seeking a mate. I don't even know who you are. What? I'm Narcissus, dummy. The Narcissus. And if you're no would-be suitor, then why don't you relieve me of one of these innumerable gifts the others offered in vain? Then beat it. Charon will want this.
give up already. I know who you are. I know where you go. You shall not get there. How frightening. Unfortunately, we shall never know if yours was a mere empty threat. For you are going on a little time out. At least until some other matters are resolved. No. You wish to trace through this realm, then here. Bask in it. That old man. It was him. Where am I? Or when? Just need to hold within this rift. What witchery is this? Now. Found you at last. Princess of the Underworld. I regret having to contact you at such a time. It's not my custom to intervene during moments of doom, only to observe. Moments of doom? You're Lord Moros, emissary of the Three Fates. So your sisters heard me after all. They expected me to find you. For there's something they intend for you to have. Wherever you're going, look for it when you arrive. I'm uncertain if we'll meet again. Farewell. It's been an honor. Wait! <sighs> He's gone. <laughs> 